Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 7th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Also, if you don't see your sign, all you have to do is click the description down below, click read more, and then scroll down to your sign and then click on the link next to your sign. Uh, that will bring you to your playlist and th this week's videos will be right at the top. So uh, a lot of people haven't been able to find their sign. Uh, like I've said to everybody else, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but uh, they're like, you know, videos are missing, they're not showing up, but they're in the playlist, so uh, that's where you can find those. But your first card this week is the Ten of Clubs, Leaps and Bounds of Success. So uh, jumping forward into something that is very successful for you, or seeing some sort of, uh, you know, kind of rise in something successful uh, in your life. So it could be uh, business, it could be a relationship, it could be anything. Uh, I really love this card, it's one of my favorites in the deck. It just represents abundance and kind of some sort of great leap forward in the way that things happen for you. So uh, definitely really happy to see that for you uh, this week. Next, you have the Four Spades Recovery. A couple of signs have had cards of just recovery this week and, you know, kind of being able to recover from things and being able to take a break and all this other good stuff. So I really like to see this card for you. Uh, it's a great card for, like, meditating, uh, doing anything that makes you happy, anything that calms you down, any anything like that. Great card for hobbies as well. You know, anything that allows you to leave your mind. Uh, so definitely a good card for this week. Next, you have the Queen of Diamonds. A lot of people getting this card this week, and it does represent choices, having some sort of choice to make at this time. So you could be making choices at work, in business, in relationships. Um, I also feel like we are just getting more choices uh, in our lives as well, and these new choices will probably actually lead to something. Whereas in the past, if we've made choices to do things, maybe it you know they haven't always worked out or they haven't gone in a good direction or just nothing has happened. So uh, I do feel like the choices we make now might be more permanent. Uh, this could be, you know, again, these these could be very, like, small choices. It could be a small dietary change or it could be something major like, you know, picking up and moving across the country or, um, you know, co totally changing your life in some way. So definitely pay attention to the choices you are making. Next, you have the Four of Clubs, card of your thoughts being aligned with the truth. So again, all these changes that you are making at this time probably are leading towards something uh, mostly more successful. And again, you probably already know what you're supposed to be doing at this time. This is a card that says your thoughts are in line with the truth. Um, so it's a very good card for that. It is also a card of talking to people. So again, you could be very busy. You have the two court cards here. And I would say, you know, it could be a very busy talking week to you. You could be talking to a lot of people. You could be dealing with a lot of people and kind of, you know, doing all that stuff as well. Next, you have the Five of Diamonds. This is my Just Do It card. It says anything you're thinking about doing, whatever it is, starting a new job, starting a business, starting a relationship, this card says do it. Now is the time. It's a very successful card. Great card for money coming in. And it's a great card for sales as well. So if you're selling anything, this is a really good card for selling things. And it's a great card for making money also. So you could be making some money more money at this time as well. Uh, I really like this card a lot. Uh, what else? It can represent kind of like doing something. What else do we have here? Yeah, I mean, it can represent doing something after a difficult period of time. You have the Ace of Hearts as well. Uh, very similar card. It says you could be doing something more successful after a difficult period of time. Three of Diamonds, pay attention to details. Uh, just all year. I mean, pay attention to the things that you're doing and pay attention to the extra details that you notice coming up because, um, again, there could be something... Uh, that you miss. This is a card of like beginner mistakes. It says don't make mistakes that can be avoided. Um, not a bad card. It just says don't make those mistakes. Next you have the Jack of Spades. Again, Curiosity. This card, I feel like it's came up for somebody else as well. It might have been Leo. Um, and to me, it's a card of curiosity. I think for Fire Sign, there is a lot of curiosity at this time. There could be a lot of things happening to us where we just like, you know, something happens and it leads us in a totally new direction, maybe in our business, in our life, or maybe it has something to do with our passions, where it's like we come up with some sort of new passion or some sort of new idea. Uh, this is a very good card for just kind of following the breadcrumbs that come into your life and seeing where they lead, and you never know what could happen. Could lead to a new passion, uh, some sort of new love coming into your life, or some sort of happiness. This is like a card of happiness, a card of your emotions overflowing, and having a lot of happy moments this week. So it uh, looks like a really great week for you. A lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.